So I realized that I was a girl when I was like four. There's no life altering that's, changes yeah. going no on right life now. Life altering changes going on right now. And later on, if that's what makes her happy, and then we'll support her to do that. Even if she were to change her mind at some point. Diversity and representation, two values that society seems to care about more and more each passing day. Now, while these two qualities can be quite important, all this wokeness can also be taken to the extreme. As you'll see in the video we'll be watching from the Truly channel, who continues to deliver only the best wokest content for our entertainment and occasional annoyance. Now this video is called our seven-year-old is transgender and in order to resist the urge to kill myself after having realized how insanely woke this video is going to be, I suggest we get right into it. I hope you enjoy. My name is Ella and I'm seven years old and I'm transgender. I realized that I was a girl when I was four. She would say, you know, I think I was supposed to be a girl in your tummy. Why did I come out this way? We support our daughter's transition, even though we've had some judgment. Oh, I wonder why. Surely you're not trying to convince us that your then four-year-old child didn't think about wanting to be the first president of Mars, but instead thought about genders and what it meant to be a part of certain genders. You definitely did not put that thought into her head. No, no. A child cannot decide something like that. He is six years old. This should be against the law. Shame on you. The hardest one for me to deal with is for people to call us child abusers. I want a happy and healthy kid, period. So if this is the way she needs to do it to be happy and healthy, so be it. Yes, I'm sure most parents would want their child to be happy and healthy, but I'm having a hard time believing that your four-year-old was obsessing over gender to such an extent that she would have wanted to change it. No four-year-old kids even know the difference between the two genders. I myself thought that girls had penises when I was four. Here's my bedroom. My favorite color is rainbow. Transgender means you're a boy from a girl or a girl to the boy. <laughs> I'm surprised she believes in the gender binary. Whenever you change your name to Ella, do you feel pretty much happy most of the time? Yeah. Can you tell me about that? I really like the name Ella. I didn't really like the name Easton. What did you not like about the name Easton? Like, it's a boy name. When Ella was two, um, she started showing signs of gender non-conforming. So what? Your two-year-old child didn't wear a dress because she so desperately wanted to break gender stereotypes and be gender non-conforming. I, for one, wanted to paint my nails pink when I was four, but I didn't turn out to be a gender non-conforming, gender-fluid, transgender, non-binary, neutroids demi-girl, did I? Around four, when she was able to verbalize more, um, she would say, you know, I think I was supposed to be a girl in your tummy. Why did I come out this way? You can see them showing all these photos of Ella wearing a dress when she was a boy and I just think it doesn't make any sense. I constantly see tons of posts on Instagram from woke people preaching the message that toys and clothes don't have a gender while those same people immediately let their children transition into the opposite sex just because they played with a Barbie doll or wore a dress. One day she, in the bathroom, threw down her fist and said, make me a girl mom, I want to be a girl. And so that was the night that I really knew. Before we let her transition, I think we spent more time worrying about what everyone else would think than what was actually best for her. You see, I wouldn't have a problem with this if this was an adult transitioning, right? Who cares? But this is a seven-year-old girl and I can't imagine she's actually so serious about it and that this transition is happening because she willed it so desperately. I'm glad that we have gotten past that to where, you know, I'm gonna do what's best for our family. This one, she has a cute skirt. And this one, she has a cute skirt too. Letting her explore her gender right now is not hurting anybody. While that is true, letting your child explore her gender so publicly could definitely hurt her. Were you ever sad because you felt like you were, you were a girl, but people said you were a boy? Yeah. Can you tell me about that? 
Well, I don't know why they bullied me, just because they said you can't be a, a girl, you have to be a boy. Obviously, booing and bullying is never okay, but the reason you don't understand is firstly because you're all four years old, and secondly, because if your mother hadn't obsessed over this transgenderism just because you once wore a dress and just because she wants to appear woke, you wouldn't believe it yourself. You can't convince me that a seven-year-old is transgender and first figured out she was a girl when she was four. We support our daughter's transition, even though we've had some judgment. A child cannot decide something like that. Dumbfounded, lost for words, what happened to society. He is six years old. This should be against the law. Shame on you. How does it make you feel as a mom reading this comment? <clears throat> um, sorry. I'm sorry to have to break this to you, ma'am, but if you go public with your four-year-old son's transition, you're gonna have to expect some hate too, and your sad fishing isn't gonna make you right either. Dang it. It's hard. I mean, people are basically judging our family. I feel like, you know, we love our kids unconditionally, both of them. We want them to turn out to be the best versions of themselves that they can be. It's not our job to make them who we want them to be, Ella is being herself, and we're gonna support and love that. Is she being herself, or is she being what her parents want her to be? Have you tried to shield Ella from this type of negativity? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, I've put all the effort and energy I possibly could into shielding my daughter from all this negativity by having a camera crew come to my house so I can make a small documentary about my seven-year-old transgender child and I plan on putting it on YouTube for the entire world to see. Now that's what you call shielding your child from negativity. This isn't just about the hate Ella will receive now, but the hate she'll receive in the future just because of this fucking video. You might be wondering, what are we doing? We're dyeing my hair. Ooh. So first we're gonna do pink. Cause pink is my favorite color, you know that. <laughs> There's no life altering that's, changes yeah. going no on right now. Life altering now. changes going on right now. And later on, if that's what makes her happy, and then we'll support her to do that even if she were to change her mind at some point. Okay, that's where I absolutely draw the line. What do you even consider to be later on in life? What if it made her happy to start a feminizing hormone therapy or be put on puberty blockers just before she hit puberty? Would you actually support her in that as well? Because that would just be idiotic and dangerous. First of all, it's not reversible, so if she regrets it later on, there's fuck all she can do about that. And second of all, complications of feminizing hormone therapy might might include a blood clot in a deep vein, weight gain, infertility, high potassium, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, excessive prolactin in your blood, nipple discharge, stroke, increased risk of breast cancer compared to cisgender men, and the second complication which I cannot pronounce. Deal with it. We would still support that and um, deal with that too. Next for Ella's transition would be hopefully changing her birth certificate in the near future. Would you want to change your birth certificate? Yeah, I want to change it. Now that's something I most certainly wouldn't do if I had a transgender child because she probably isn't even old enough to know that she has a birth certificate and it's just an extra amount of hassle if she has to change it again because she changed her mind on a gender again. What message do you want to tell to people that maybe aren't very nice to transgender people? Stop being mean to transgender people just because they're different. I agree with her on that because honestly if you're old enough there's really nothing wrong with just letting you live as long as you're not hurting anyone else either but there are certain things that when said by a seven or even four year old should just not be taken that seriously. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike don't forget to comment on future video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos I hope to see you next time. Good Bye.